Hello, it's Sia for Theo's Tech Tips, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Windows 11 VM on an M1 Mac. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is open up your web browser, and you want to type join Windows Insider Program. And you're going to click on this link and you're going to sign into your Microsoft account. And if you're not already a member, you should see a join button on this page. But since I'm already a member, I do not see that. This is a free program, so you don't have to like pay a f monthly fee or something like that. It's just, it's completely free to join. So then you want to go to download Windows 11 on ARM Insider Preview. Now we're going to choose our edition and we're going to choose the beta. We're going to confirm and choose the language and we're going to click download now. And this will download a VM image. So now what you want to do is you want to go open up UTM and if you don't know how to use UTM then you could take a look at my previous two videos about UTM. And we're gonna go make a new VM and we're gonna choose virtualize windows and then we're gonna click import VHDX image and then we're going to choose the image that we just downloaded I'm going to click open, we're going to choose install drivers and spice tools. We're going to click on continue, we're going to give it how much memory we want, set up shared directories, we're going to give it a name, and I'm just going to leave it at the default settings, and we're going to click save. So now what we're going to do is click on the play button, and before we can set up Windows, there are a few extra steps we have to do because UTM handles the Windows preview in a bit of a weird way. If you did everything correctly, you should see this screen. And what we're going to hit now is FN, Shift, F10. And that's if you're on an Apple keyboard. If you're not on an Apple keyboard, it should be Shift, F10. And we're going to click Yes. And in here, we are going to type a special command to let us bypass the network because the network screen for some reason doesn't recognize the virtual network. So we have to run this special command in order to bypass that. And the command we're going to type is OOBE backslash bypass NRO. And that is going to restart our VM and skip that network selection screen. So when you reach this stage, we're going to choose our country. And we're going to choose our keyboard layout. And when you see this screen, you can say, I don't have internet. And if you don't see this option, then you probably forgot to run that special command or you may have shut down the VM in between, but just try it again and it should show this little button here. So you're gonna click that, continue with limited setup, and we're going to continue through the installation process. Once you finish the setup, you should see something like this, and that just means that Windows is installing onto our virtual hard disk, and we could just wait. There's nothing really we could do here. Okay, so once you see the desktop, you might just think that we're done here, but you might notice that our resolution is not matched up and the text is really blurry and it's all pixely and it's not scaled right. So this is because that Windows hasn't installed the Spice guest drivers yet. So to do that, we're going to go into File Explorer we're going to go to the CD drive. And if you don't see that option, you probably have to go to click on this button and choose install Windows guest tools. But then we're going to double click on the installer. Now we're going to choose I want to manually review later. 
because we have another step that we have to do. So we're gonna go click on the start menu, click on the power button and click shut down. Okay, so when you see this play button, that means that the VM is shut down. So you can just close this. We're going to click on this CD DVD button and click clear. And this will get rid of the Windows guest tools because we've already installed them onto our VM. So we don't need them in the DVD drive anymore. So once that's done, we could click on the play button. We are going to see our desktop here. And you'll notice that everything is properly scaled now. And even better is if we change the window size, Windows is going to scale with it which is pretty cool. So that's it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Theo from Theo's Tech Tips and I'll see you next time. Bye.